Well, hello again from Kingston, where yet another busy week comes to a close on the third crossing. If you're enjoying these updates, please consider subscribing and encouraging others to do so. Thanks for watching. Despite this week's title, we're going to start with a look at the West End, where work on the abutment and the gap which separates from Section 1 is taking place. Scheduled Gamaco runs were weathered off, but the positive results of earlier pours are very evident. Substantial areas have been laid on the first three sections, and beyond that, the tireless workers of ABF are making amazing progress with the placement of the essential reinforcing rod. Make no mistake, this is some of the most arduous and physically demanding work on the whole project. And the recent very hot conditions have done nothing to make it any easier. If you should meet any of these iron workers, be sure to thank them and buy them a cold beverage. And in the weeks ahead, when all the major components are in place and you think things have slowed down, just look at the complexity of the reinforcing work. There are no machines to do this. It takes constant, careful human endeavor. But it is on the east side that many notable events have occurred this week. Arriving low loaders and a visit by a pilot truck suggested that Berta was going to continue her journey soon. Although Berta was still on her tracks on Monday, by that afternoon, the tip of her boom was on the road and heading for the next destination. The highly specialized trailer for the transport of her main body also arrived. To find her separated from her tracks and resting on the built-in stabilizer arms. It took a little bit of jockeying to get the trailer positioned under her absolutely correctly. Note too that her cab is designed cleverly to swing forward for transport. One of the last tasks to be performed was to lower and stow the A-frame. While all of this was going on, Five more of the 18 transporters used to move the whole crane were lined up on the roadway. Berta finally made her way up the hill just before 3pm on Monday. And if you hadn't grasped her sheer size before now, look as she turns the corner on Gore Road. To be followed by several trailers, carrying the substantial ballast weights. The last pieces to depart were her two caterpillar tracks, with a trailer devoted to each. But life's been very busy at the top of the hill too, near the library. Considerable progress has been made in excavating and laying pipelines that will serve sanitation, water and uh, drainage despite very rocky terrain. It's worth noting too that this is a very cramped construction site, which brings its own challenges. Nevertheless, during the week, the remarkable Tomlinson team, working closely with Utilities Kingston, was able to install and commission a new water main. There's a great deal of mechanical assistance uh, available and some very expert operators at the controls but sometimes it just has to be done by hand. There's a certain sequence to the work. After rock breaking there's excavation, removal of that spoil, then the delivery of gravel and its compaction before closing the surface. 
And all of this is being achieved while maintaining access to the library and leaving the surrounding trees and paths undisturbed. No mean feat. But there's another major story to be told on the East End this week. On Tuesday and Thursday this week, we welcome back the professional drivers from DCAST who have constantly impressed us with their management of the enormous loads they carry. Not long after dawn on Wednesday, two of the three trucks were already east of the lift bridge, while the third loitered on the far side near the start of the steel structure. Then it was time to exercise a well-practiced routine. With the only minor hold-up arising when it became necessary to fettle a couple of the hoop that are attached to the girders. Tracy to the rescue. Then, before very long, in a series of coordinated, very skilled operations, the first girders, east of the uh, steel structure, were in place. With the third in before 10.30, it was time to get the tape measure out and check tolerances. Friday was very much a case of rinse and repeat, so I don't think you really want to see all of that. But you might like to see what a challenge it is to turn around those empty dollies in a very confined area. They are, after all, almost a hundred feet long. Empty. Note the employment of the manual rear steer control. You can see how much work the axles are doing as you watch the turntable swing. And the use of the whole space. Because the rear dolly can be towed from either end, at some point the front section separates turns around and then moves to pick up the dolly at the other end. Well that's enough high-tech for one week. Let's go and look at some wildlife. Well, that's it for one more week in Kingston. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe.